hello welcome back so let's continue with our step machine i'm going to make a copy of the last project so that we continue from there so that you can have these projects properly arranged for revision i'm going to change this over here to two. open right so i'm going to start off by enabling the um the cystic timer and to do this i'm actually going to enable the hall library from stm32 hall stands for hardware abstraction layer it is spelled h-a-l so i'm going to come over here to manage runtime environment click on device over here I come to stm32 cube hall and what I want to do is enable RCC and then I'll just say resolve all and then resolve what does it say it says I've got to select something we've got to decide whether we want CubeMX or classic there's an option up here this one here the API cube framework API we want the classic over here and then I'll say this right once that is done okay i'll come here right click and then now i can say include hull h once we've done that we've got to initialize the hull i'll come over here and simply type h a l underscore in it so the hull library uses the um the cystic timer asset clock base so we need to sort of declare or write the cystic handler here and the cystic handler is what sort of makes the clock tick so we can come down here and simply say void cystic underscore handler and it's a void void we open and close and in here we call a function known as hal ink tick meaning increment the tick it's like the tick of a clock incremented so whenever a cystic interrupt occurs the clock is going to be incremented and that is how we can use our delay function and other functions relating to time right so after this we should have a delay function and over here i'm going to make a clock equals uh, I'm gonna make one clock equals um, let's say one second so I'm gonna come over here before our variable clock plus plus I'm gonna delay for one second such that clock black such that clock plus plus happens exactly every second and I can do that by saying hal delay the delay is in milliseconds so a thousand milliseconds give us gives us one second so say this like this now let's run our program and see what we have okay it's building it will take a while because of the hard libraries we included i'll download onto the board i'll go back to terra term i'll reset my board okay we have an issue oh okay we had no issue I reset okay right right so each clock tick is equal to a second so we can assume that it would have to wait for a while for clock equals two to execute state two which is um um, which prints this is a function this is an execution of state 2 and it would have to wait for a longer time for state c so that is why it's taking time pr to produce but okay let's write more code to print the timestamp of the executions how about that um, i'll come down here and i'm gonna create a number of functions previous time current time okay let's see how we go about this i'll come down here and i'll say u int 32 underscore t i'll zoom in a bit 
and I'm gonna have a variable here called state a s a previous time. I'm gonna set this to zero, and I'm gonna have another variable u in thirty two underscore t state a now the time for now, and I'm gonna have a third variable u in thirty two underscore t s a delta state a delta right okay and we can come here and perform a bit of computations in state a we can get the time by using get how get tick that will give us the current tick it's a function so i'll say sa underscore now equals hull underscore get tick it's over here and this will give us the time for now and what we want to do is compute the delta and we can compute the delta we can compute the delta by simply saying sa delta equals now sa now minus sa previous time right and we can convert to seconds i'll put a comment here by dividing by 1000 so sa delta percentage equals 1000 like this and once that is done we can say previous equals now so now be the present becomes the past essentially yeah previous equals now equals sa now over here like this And now we can print it all out. I'm gonna come over here, write a new print statement. I'll say print f. Um, this is I'll say this is the output of state A, and I'll say percentage f. seconds ago okay so this is the output of state a this number of seconds ago and um, SA Delta I'll pass it here right oh I'll comment on out I'll comment out our old statement we can keep this over here right so we have to do the same we have to perform the same computation we have to perform the same computation for for states b and c well the reason i'm pausing is we have this error here Let's see, what does it say? Hmm, yeah. Because I declared SA Delta here. I should declare it as a float or a double. Okay, looks better now. Or it looks excellent, I should say. I'll come down here and I'll just copy these variables and change SA to SB for state B. SB over here, SB over here, SB over here. And we're going to go through the same sequence here. We start off by saying now time, get a current time, SA, SB now equals hull underscore get tick. And once we've done that, we can compute the delta, SB delta equals SB now. minus sp previous time once we've computed the delta we um we convert it to seconds because it's in milliseconds sp delta sp delta divided by 1000 gives us the equivalent in seconds and the present becomes the past essentially so we say sp 
previous time sp prev time equals sp now like this and once that is done we can sort of print uh, simply this is the output of state b percentage f seconds ago and we can simply say sp delta over here like this right and then we can move on to do it for state c and um, it becomes sc for state c and we start off by grabbing the current time sc now Cause hull get tick SC delta equals SC now minus SC pref time and then we convert to seconds SC delta divided by 1000 and then the present becomes the past SC pref time previous time equals now and then we print because sc now i keep writing now and we print print f and we print the same statement here this is the output of state c this number of seconds ago and you say sc delta over here we've got to include a new line here right okay let's see what we have now it looks good SA over here, SP over here, SC over here. I'll click to build. It's built successfully. I'll download onto the board. I'll check Terra term. I'll reset my board. Okay, state A, two seconds ago, state B, five seconds ago, state C, nine seconds ago, state A, nine seconds, state B, nine. Interesting. Ha. Huh. Yeah, there's a mistake in our computation somewhere. Let's check. So yeah, exactly. This is exactly how our state machine is supposed to execute. I'm going to press the board to reset it. I've just pressed to reset. Okay, task A or state A first executes in two seconds because we said clock equals two. And then the next one in five. And then after that, nine. Now, each subsequent execution for whichever state is going to occur at this fixed time because it takes the same time the the time of execution or the time required to execute all the commands of state a is constant and the time required to execute all the commands of state b is constant and the one required to execute all the commands of state c is also constant so because this time is constant then all of them would have the ego time here being constant that is why each, each state is executed every 9.172 seconds. So every 9.172 seconds, each state executes. Right. But we can make one state to execute more than the other by simply 
um, suppose we have a very long algorithm which requires more execution time and it's put in a state machine with other algorithms that just need to execute or are quickly executed we can have states a b c d e f or something we can have a number of states but in the number of states we can dedicate multiple states to one algorithm such that its occurrence in the states machine is much more frequent compared to the other states right so i hope you understand why we have constant time shown here the output state of each one because the um the time it takes to execute each state is constant right um anyway um that's all there is and we shall we shall build upon this in the next lesson if you have any questions just let me know and i shall see you later